Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dave from Military to Millionaire. So I just got back from Bridgeport and you're probably wondering why I'm filming in a totally different location. And really all it is is because I wanted to do this unboxing somewhere a little different because I've never done an unboxing so I figured I should change it up a little bit. I'm recording on my phone so I didn't have to undo my whole setup there so hopefully this turns out all right. But I'm super excited to bring you the Amex Platinum. Alright, so let's take a look at this bad boy and then I'll tell you a little bit about why I'm so excited about this. Oh, you probably can't see that. There you go. I'm going to show you guys just how cool this looks. Hang on one sec, let me get you a little closer. Welcome to Platinum. Ooh, shiny. Look at how cool that is. Pretty cool box, huh? Now, just to ensure you're seeing this as I am seeing this, look at how cool this box is. Card pops out. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. That's got some weight to it. I don't know if you can tell by me just messing around with it. This is a hefty, hefty card. Definitely, look at that, so thick. Such a cool card, just off the top. And then as we get down in here, you've got a fancy welcome aboard booklet. Welcome to Platinum. The, imagine the possibilities. Feel at peace even when you're on the go. And, Share the love, which is what I'm doing right now. All right, so now that you've got a chance to take a look at this super fancy card and the cool packaging I got in the mail, what is so special about this card? Besides the cool packaging and the cool, you know, heavy duty card, why do people obsess over the Amex Platinum? Well, I got to experience this firsthand because I got this while I was, you know, away training, and when we came back, I had the card, I hadn't really gotten to play with the card yet because it was here and I was there, but I was able to download the priority pass, which is this. And after seeing the priority pass, you know, and getting the card, I was able to access most of the benefits. I was able to get in the escape lounge in Reno for a complimentary breakfast. I had blueberry pancakes, I had oatmeal, I had a mimosa and a Bloody Mary, and a locomoco, all in the house. And it was super quiet, didn't feel like I was in an airport, felt like I was in a nice little restaurant, and it was awesome. And then fast forward to San Francisco, I got to go in the infamous Centurion Lounge, again for free. I got to bring two guests, had another buddy, we got to play spades, had like four different drinks, all awesome, an old fashioned uh, Sazerac, some bourbon drinks, quality drinks, quality bartenders with some very good, really, really good chicken breasts, uh, green beans, potatoes, high quality food, all for free. And remember, remember, airport prices are not cheap. So for free in an airport is awesome. And then not only that, but we were there long enough that we were still hungry. We went to the San Francisco Giants clubs where this bad boy gets you 20 something dollars off. And with a guest, it's $56 total that you can get off your food. So we got, there was me and another Amex Platinum card holder there. And we, I kid you not, like there were five of us there, three ate meals, all five got a drink or two, and some appetizers, and we were three dollars short, three dollars short of the amount that we could have spent. So all we had to pay was a tip at both places. So I got two full meals, a bunch of alcohol for me and buddies in a nice, quiet, peaceful place, got to relax, and did not have to pay for any of it. That's awesome. Now, I'm gonna take it upstairs and I'm gonna show you guys a couple other benefits that came come with the Amex Platinum and why you should get it. If you're a service member, there's absolutely no reason why you should not have this card. All right, instead of getting crazy with it, I just opted to show you a quick screenshot of my blog post, which is gonna be in the links in the description for the video below. 
definitely go check it out. It's a long form, got a lot more content in there. But these are just a quick list of some of the bullets for American Express Platinum, the MX Platinum. Uh, here's some of the benefits that come with it. So obviously the $550 military fee is waived. If you spend five grand in the first three months, you get 60,000 welcome aboard bonus points, which is huge. That amounts to a lot of stuff. But the cool thing is spending that five grand sounds like, oh man, I gotta go below $5,000 to get these points. Well, not really. Can you swipe your credit card for a mortgage or for your rent payment? Because if you do that for two or three months, that might be the entire amount right then and there. You're paying it anyway, so just swipe, pay it off, swipe, pay it off, no big deal. Uh, I'm gonna hit this $5,000 mark, and all I'm doing is taking some of my normal expenses and paying them with the card instead of with the card that I use otherwise. $200 annual Uber credit. I just did this. All you gotta do is add your Amex Platinum card as a payment option in your Uber app and it automatically does this. So it's $15 a month with an extra $20 in December. The only thing is it doesn't roll over. So it's $15 a month, not save up $200 and then go crazy one month. But still, if you use Uber a lot, that's awesome. $200 annual airline credit. All you gotta do is make sure you buy the flights from the Amex website, but $200 off flights every year is huge. All right, so if you buy planes, or hotels uh, pre-purchased through the Amex website, it's five points per dollar spent. If you're spending the money anyway, five points, that's easy. That's, I mean, my trip to FinCon is probably gonna earn me five or 10,000 points in rewards points this year alone. And I'm gonna buy that stuff in the first three months. So it'll go towards my 5,000. So I might get 70, 75,000 points out of just doing that. One point per other purchase, nothing crazy there. The lounges, again, I just can't stress this enough. The lounges are awesome. I probably had $200 worth of food and drink throughout my travel back to the Hawaii and didn't pay for a penny of it, which was awesome because airport food is not cheap. So I was talking with someone the other day and they said that there's absolutely no reason every service member shouldn't carry the Amex Platinum. The only downside really is the annual fee and they waive it for us. So, you know, I agree with the guy. Uh, and it's funny, as I bring this card up, it's amazing how many Marines and service members have this credit card, uh, charge card. So definitely worth looking into. If you want more information, check out the blog post, description in the comments. I'll also leave the uh, my referral link. So if you're interested in the card and you're looking to sign up, if you click that link, you know it, it helps me out. It gets me a couple extra bonus points, which really doesn't change anything for you. But, uh, you know, I'd appreciate it. So <laughs> thanks. If you don't want to do that and you want to go find your own link on Google just to not give me a referral, that's fine too. I totally understand. I will say that I used a referral link, you know, so paying it forward, not a big deal, whatever. If you're interested in the credit card, great. If not, go read the blog post. I have some other ones listed, including the Military Star Card, which really isn't that bad. I mean, it doesn't have all the travel bonuses, but you know what? I'm gonna delete that part. All right guys, if you found some of this information useful, go ahead and uh, share it with your friends, like it, comment, whatever. If you found it stupid, you know, feel free to comment too. Negative comments are still comments, so publicity, boom, boom. Have a great day, hope you learned something from this. I know it's not real estate related, don't worry. There's plenty of real estate related content coming up. I just thought I'd share something useful because it helped me out.